compressive disorders, uh, especially vascular compressive diseases, are where blood vessels are squeezed by other organs or other blood vessels and bony structures. It leads to problems such as pain, problems with eating, um, swelling. Um. The problem with these disorders is that they are underdiagnosed and undertreated because they're underdiagnosed. People go through their, uh, a large part of their adult life with pain and chronic pain syndromes, never having a diagnosis. So they're treated with pain medication. So it's really just recognition of the pattern of symptoms that can occur, like abdominal pain, uh, blood in the urine, stuff like that, pelvic pain. Uh, recognition of these symptoms and uh, finding someone that can put the signs together and come up with the right diagnosis. Examples such as uh, left renal vein entrapment, which is nutcracker syndrome, uh, left iliac vein compress compression, which is uh, Maytherner syndrome, uh, celiac uh, compression, which is uh, median arcuate ligament syndrome, and uh, SMA syndrome, which is uh, compression of the main artery going to the intestine uh, and uh, compression of the first part of the small intestine. There's a lot of people out there that don't believe these things actually exist. And almost every one of the patients I've taken care of with these compressive disorders has been told that it's in their head and that their symptoms don't correlate with the, what they're finding. And what we see is that there's actually an anatomic reason why this is happening, and it's once you treat it, many people make a full recovery.